show you my uh, latest idea, which is folding kit back. Nothing really original or unusual about that. Uh, I saw one in the shop the other day, two ninety nine, not a lot of money. But I did think I could make one of these myself. Yeah, as soon as I've got a bit of old camping mattress anyway. Uh, a few bits of that I'd have got laying around anyway from the previous project that didn't really pan out. Uh, basically, one of those eyelet punch tools. Punched a few eyelets in that. Bit of paracord. And this is the first trial run of this kick that. Oh, that goes. That's in dark. I'm also going to try out my Lynx can stove, which again, it turns out not my original design, or not my <laughs> exclusive design, because I've seen uh, one or two of the folk with them now on YouTube. Handkerchief and elastic band keeps that all together. And inside that, this is useful as the rubbing rag at the end of it. And because it's on the outside, when you finish with it, the air gets to it, dries it off. It's only a thin bit of cotton, so it's pretty good at drying. Cook kit, cheap. Up from uh, somewhere like Yorkshire Trading or Pound Stretcher or something, I think it was one ninety nine. dollars bit of insulating tape on the handle. Homemade lid, which is bottom of sardine tin. Sorry, not sardine tin, tuna tin. And I've got a small bit of uh, wire just poked through that, bent around to form a collapsible handle. Drops down. Small amount of mats in a cosmetic bottle. Salad, fork, stroke, spoon, which is just the right size fit in there. Just. Little ditty, big mini lighter. Lynx can stone. As you will see on more than one video on YouTube. So it's the first time I've tried this and bit of aluminium. Just thin treat of aluminium just for sitting the edge. So it all sits in the end, so there's hardly any wind here at all. This is ideal really. Let's find some like black one. And you'll see how little uh, mess goes in this. There is a bit of a sort of rib on the inside of there. If you tend to aim for sort of going for filling up on that, a lot of that then gets drawn out by the, uh, the fiberglass insulation on the inside of that. You see that sort of disappeared now. So that's all been sucked into where we want it, which is in the outside wall. I'll put another splash on there. We won't be able to see the flag of course because it's such a fantastic sunny day at the moment. What's the sound of that wind? It's a period. Bloom on that, which won't take very long, because it might take a bit longer. 
how to build that today. That's 330 mil, so about 300 mil in there. Well, they're already close to mine there. Jets fully operational. Afterburners on. That's gone on about half one. Oh, the lid, of course. Made the lid. Suppose we ought to use it. Can I just pop all that over a bit? Grab that. Oh, kit's back seems to be alright. Oh, it's cold here. Over in October, just rearrange this so that the handle doesn't get um, jetted. Not sure if you've got any, anything of interest uh, apart from the old bungee cord. Bright blue, not the most discreet colour. But these quite handy just to have in the back. Or if not, your waist. Oh, look, trousers. Or, over your shoulder. Holding up whatever. Bag or a mug or something. Is that still burning? Yes, it is. Also, I'm coming from the tree. And that, a couple of bits and pieces of that tree. Behind us. I tend to keep one of those in the back. I pop it even sometimes. Well, we're halfway through October, more than halfway through October. Surrounded by small oak trees. You might think this is uh, one of the national parks, it's actually not. In the Lincolnshire Wolds, not far from Horn Castle Town. And this crazy bit with trees, this is it. You walk a few metres in any direction and it's just back to sort of fields and hedging. Back there is fields at the back of there. It's a very bizarre little place. Very nice. Oh, we've got lots of small bubbles there, but we're not boiling. And we don't want to be boiling. I'm not making tea. I do drink tea and coffee, it's just that uh, that is far more convenient than a tea bag, some kind of milk. Some kind of sugar things to put it in. Now you can get these two and one things from uh, is it Nescafe or three and one, but they don't seem to have enough sugar in them. Is that still burnt? I think that burnt. I put the splashes of the fuel in there, and that is. I think it's still burning, but it's probably on its way out. No, that's still going. I do like this one to get stone in there, so let's do a bit. Previous to this, I had a sort of bit of weld mesh peel around, which kept inside that and just stood it on that and had one of my previous designs of burners and that. Uh, this this link to get stone now because you can see it's on the actual burn, and you just don't want to go up there to get it. Bit of kit. As in the stand as well. I think that's probably gone up. That's fine, because got good in here. You can see that. 
is perfectly acceptable temperature. I'm in a rocky outcrop and it, it certainly helped having a windshield but I think it would have uh, done the job without it. Mm. Cheers.